Hey guys, I'm up in the Victorian high country. I'm here for three days by myself. Got my tent this time because it's going to get pretty cold and especially tomorrow the weather's supposed to get pretty bad. It's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. The weather's perfect. As usual, I've gotten here pretty late in the day. So I've only got a bit of time to get to the campsite before the sun goes down. But yeah, I'm super stoked to be here and really looking forward to the next few days. So yeah, let's go get into it. Oh, so I'm probably about five kilometers into this walk and I've just noticed that the sole of my shoe is just completely busted and falling out. So, you know, I got like 20 or 30 k's to go over the weekend. So I'll put some tape on it, but yeah, I don't know. pretty tempting to just set up camp here, it's really nice. And with this foot giving me all this mischief, I had to stop a few times now to do up my cordage on it just to keep that thing from flapping around. But I think I'll just keep on going, it's another hour or so. Well, I only just got here before the sun went down, but that was such a beautiful walk. Walking through there just across the ridge while the sun was going down was just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad I made the push in the end. Seeing a bit of snow was really nice. All by myself up here, it's really nice. It's just completely quiet. Really nice to get away from the city and just have some stillness. Yeah, it's absolutely awesome up here. I'm just loving it so far. I'm starting to get pretty hungry, so. I get some dinner started. Well, that dinner was really good. I'm feeling, feeling full and feeling great. It's so nice up here. It's super calm and quiet. The sky's full of stars. And I'm just going to make myself a tea and climb into my sleeping bag and I think I'll sleep like an absolute baby. So I'll catch you guys in the morning.
morning here, had a really nice sleep. Just boiling some water here, just gonna make some oats and coffee before I head out. That um, bad weather's supposed to be moving in, I think more towards the afternoon and I've still got a bit of hiking to go. So plan is just to have breakfast and pack up, get walking over to the next camp and yeah, just get set up and kind of bunker down just before everything moves in, hopefully. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next section of the hike. It should be really beautiful. So I've been hiking for about three and a half hours and just found this really nice spot here to pull up. It's nice and sheltered. As you can hear, it's starting to get pretty windy, so that's definitely a plus. I found a nice little nook behind me here where I'm gonna set up my tent. Be in the tent all afternoon so I'm gonna go try to make it to this summit which is just quite nearby uh, before all the bad weather moves in and have some lunch. so bloody windy. I've just come down onto this other side just to try to escape it for a little bit and have some lunch. I'm just gonna boost it back to camp and then just pretty much just bunker down for the rest of the evening. And yeah, we'll see what happens with the weather. Could be four meals of rain, could be 25, could be a thunderstorm. But yeah, I don't know yet, we'll just have to wait and see. It was about now that the weather started to take a turn for the worse. I happened to be camped atop one of the tallest peaks in the area, 
and although the storm moved in slowly, before I knew it there was thunder and lightning all around. Being by myself in the middle of nowhere, I'll admit I was fairly freaked out by the cracks of thunder as the wind and rain lashed my tent. But the crossword kept me company, and I did my best to keep it cool. Eventually there was a break in the storm, which gave me an opportunity to make some dinner. It was nice to be out of the tent after being cooped up for a few hours, and after that I was visited by this cheeky little guy. I'd never seen one of these before, but turns out it's a native bush rat. He was not shy, and was either really hungry or really curious, as he barely seemed to be afraid of me at all. And as I was camped in the middle of nowhere, I highly doubt that he was used to human presence. <laughs> After I finished playing with my new friends, I was back inside to ride out the storm and try to get some sleep. Well, the storm last night was pretty crazy. It rained and hailed on and off, but worst of all was the wind which kept shaking the tent and was just super loud blowing through the snow gums. After a rough sleep, I was pretty keen to get moving as I had about 18 kilometers left to walk, so I packed up camp and hit the trail. I'd had next to no sleep, I was absolutely loving my time up in the wet and windy high country. I hadn't seen anyone since I arrived a few days ago, and was making the most of the opportunity to spend some time alone, pondering this, that and the other. I reckon it's always a good reminder when you come out and do things like this, that nature has the final say, and you can't do anything about the weather except deal with it. It's easier to deal with it when you're at home, but less so when you're out here. It's amazing to see a place when it's sunny and the weather's perfect, but it's also beautiful to see a place when it's raining and storming, being all moody and windy as hell. It's really nice to see places like this in all their different ways. It was pretty unreal in the morning during the hike back, seeing the trail of destruction from the winds last night. It made the hiking pretty interesting as the trails were totally washed out and covered with sticks, bark and mud and felt like I was slipping over every 10 metres. I also got really lucky this trip in a lot of ways. I saw heaps of birds, saw some cheeky wildlife, and some absolutely amazing scenery. Well, after this little break, I'm ready to continue on and finish the rest of this hike. I had an amazing time out here, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.